All right, today we're gonna mess with my uh, wife's truck. We got in some parts. <laughs> okay. um, I wanna apologize to you guys. I, I changed the uh, brake booster and the master cylinder, but I didn't do a video on it because I was in a big, big hurry last weekend. So I got that done in it. Uh, my wife's heater core started leaking, so she bypassed it all by herself by taking this hose and just putting it up and over for now. We'll probably, we might move that around a little bit. But anyway, um, we recall that a piece fell off of her, uh, her grill here and we couldn't find it. And then we also have this big dent right here in the side of this one. Well, thanks to everybody on uh, Facebook for uh, chipping in on trying to find some parts. Uh, Michael Brewster, buddy of mine up in uh, Oregon, uh, he actually found the parts that we needed and he got them shipped to us. Um, what was it? Chris Mahone? Chris Mahone. Chris Mahone helped uh, with the shipping and getting it all the way over here to the house. So I want to thank everybody. And uh, oh, yeah, and Cody Standridge. You helped out too in being able to locate somebody to help us get it shipped. So, with that being said, thank you everybody. You know, all us car guys need to stick together and help each other out. Uh, so, here's the parts we got this part of the grill for the passenger side, and then we've got a nice fender, which there's not very much wrong with it. There's like real minor indentation right here that will be very easily popped out and uh, we've got the other fender for future use we really didn't need this now that I look at it more but we've got a, a good fender here and my wife's fender on here it's got one little indentation here that I can work out I can massage that out easy the rest of the fender is in good shape uh, just so you guys know we will be painting this uh, it will be painted back red uh, excuse me so all right so that's the update on this i don't know i can't remember anything else Ooh, look my truck all right so let's take some parts off all right there we go we got that fender on lines up pretty good everything's pretty nice uh the bottom side under here is very rusted out i'm not a big body man so well, I'm a big bodied man, but I'm not a body man. <laughs> so what I did was, uh, all I did was I just put a screw on it. See the screw? That holds that part of the fender in place. Everything else is where it's supposed to be. And then the uh, front grill piece is in. So now it's all one, one piece. Now we'll have to work towards making it all one color. Uh, now I'm gonna jack it up and I'm gonna replace the oil pan gasket on it but thank you for everybody that helped out and getting all the parts in so now it's one piece in the front we can start working on it we just brought back a uh, patio table yeah now we just need some chairs for it all right let's get started on that oil pan gasket all right underneath here what i did was on the one side you've got your uh, steering linkage that goes across uh one of these ends over here on this side it connects to the frame there's two bolts, take those two bolts off and then you can actually pinch the tires together and it brings it down far enough to where you're not going to have any problems out of getting the oil pan out. Once you get up in here, the oil pan's got 16 screws in it. Motor's kind of dirty on the inside. I was noticing that, but other than that, I guess it looks okay. It's going to have to. Um, Take the 16 bolts out. The hardest part is right here at the front where the uh, sump comes down. The intake pipe comes up right here. That's going to really prevent you from pulling the oil pan straight out. So get it so that it drops down and pulls back as far and then get in front and just kind of push it a little bit and it'll slide out because the old gasket is helping to block it from getting out easy. Um, wah, I got a oil pan right here. I'm going to clean this out real good as best I can. And uh, then we'll get the other gasket on here and stick it back up in there. 
You guys are just going to have to trust me that I did the rest. <laughs> there it is. There's, uh, there's, there's two bolts that stick down that a nut goes in rather than just all bolts going in. And that's what you want to set your uh, gasket on the nuts that come down and then just work it. I mean, this is one of the most pain in the ass things you'll ever do on this truck. Some of them, they're a lot easier, but uh, I just got to put the oil filter on because you'll do an oil change when you do this. So I got to put the oil filter on and then uh, and let this baby down on the ground. But uh, it's nighttime. It's 8.30 at night. I've been working on this. Oh, how long have I been working on this? It's like noon or one. That says noon or one. I got the fender and the grill, and then we went to eat, and then uh, and then I took that off and cleaned it. <sighs> Man, I don't like doing too much work. This was too much work. <laughs> I want to get I want to get on that suspension. Oh, I'm starting to buy parts. Oh, am I in the picture? Yes. I'm starting to buy parts and uh, and uh, get some metal and get everything together so that we can start bagging this. I know you guys are really ready to see that. I'm really ready to see this. Uh, how about that? Ugh. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're gonna get started on uh, on uh, bagging this real soon. Um, I don't know what else to say right now. I I'm tired. We're gonna go inside and watch a movie and kick back and relax. I'm, I'm gonna try and get a couple things done uh, in the morning. Um, I don't know. What else? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thumbs up for some greasy fingers. And a wife that stays outside for the entire time. I'm blind now. You're blind? It yeah. looks like something smells. It does. Huh? It does. It's what smells? The light smells? No, a non-bag truck. A non-bag truck smells? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you anxious to get your truck bagged? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. That's it. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Wherever carburetor. 20R. Toyota Power. <laughs> See y'all later next time. One more thing. If your wife don't let you do this, I hate it for you. <laughs>